Luke here with an update. Hey, what's up guys, how are you doing? I am filming this video right now in kind of the late afternoon and the sun is peering in, but it has been like one of the best days in Los Angeles so far. I just talked to my brother the other day, which by the way, yes, I do have a younger brother. He's much more attractive than, than me. Here's a picture of him. I'm gonna tell you a story about growing up with him, but I do wanna talk to you about some stuff first. Firstly, um, the contest that I've been talking about the last few days for the little giveaway. Allison Brennan, uh, I just sent you a message, you won. Completely random, I will probably even just like link her Twitter account below just so you guys know. Also, I just released a music video this morning with Alex Goot and Chad Sugg. I know some of you watch me more for my vlogging, but I'm really proud of this cover, so if you want, you can go and watch that. And thank you so much for all the nice comments and the ratings and all of that stuff over on that video. The sun! So I will just sit over here and tell you this story. The, and the story actually kind of relates to the sun because I'm gonna talk about fire and how I used to be a little bit of a pyromaniac when I was growing up. I've always been fascinated by fire and if you're ever at a campfire, just look around you and you will see at least one person, if not everyone, will be staring directly at the campfire and I think it's just something that's like encoded in us to stare at fire. I've googled this before, but I just looked it up again. Um, why do people stare at fire? And the best response is fire warms and lights, fire guards, fire cleanses, fire burns, fire consumes, fire destroys. So basically they're saying fire is a friend and a protector. It is a dangerous, greedy enemy. I think that's just brilliant. So back to my little brother. Growing up, he would follow me around everywhere. I was a few years older than him, and I think that he really looked up to me quite a bit. And as a side story to this story, I actually remember making him sit on the outside of the bathroom door uh, while I was in the bathroom, and he would have to tell me stories. And he would always do it, and I would always think that it's hilarious. I was probably the most manipulative little kid ever to my little brother. I've never talked about this before with anybody, and I feel really dumb that I did this, but after school sometimes, my brother and I would take gasoline and go and light random things on fire. I remember filling up one of our wheelbarrows kind of full of gasoline and lighting it on fire, and then we would just sit and watch it for a while. But even more idiotic, we took this pressurized canister of brake fluid and we wanted to blow it up. So we brought it out into a field, put a bunch of gasoline underneath, lit it on fire, and ran away quickly and just sat there and watched it burn from a distance that we thought was safe. But after watching it burn for about 15 minutes, nothing was happening. So I told my little brother to go and check on the canister. My brother's a pretty smart guy, but he really liked doing things that I would tell him to do. So he was really reluctant and didn't go right away. And as soon as he f took his first step towards the canister, it blew up. Neither of us really knew how to react because I had just ordered my little brother to go and pick up a canister that might have blown up in his hands or in his face. So I felt very ashamed that I had told him to do that. Yeah, I could have like blown his hands off or, or something like that. So I'm really glad that it blew up uh, before he went to go pick it up, but it, it also shamed me enough to break my fire habit, realizing that it's incredibly dangerous. So, if any pyromaniacs are, are watching this video right now, just be very careful because I could have killed my little brother and I would have had to live with that for a very long time, so I'm really glad that I didn't. The sun right now on this video is getting a little bit out of hand, so I'm probably gonna end this video, but yeah, go check out the music video, I'll probably link it below as well, and then also, good job Allison, and thanks for everybody that entered, I think there were like 6,000 people that commented on that picture, so pretty awesome, thank you for that, and tomorrow I'm going to film a question answer video, so um, normally I have you guys ask me questions over Twitter, Twitter or Facebook, but I've actually never done this, I've never had you guys leave questions in the comment section below, so I'm gonna film that tomorrow, but yeah, leave me some questions and I will answer them. Make sure to check out the mystery video for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.
Luke's got no friends. Luke's got no friends. Luke has no friends. It's raining out.